At the end of this video, you should be able to install a Maya plugin under Windows. The process remains the same for all kind of plugins and all Maya versions. There is just minor differences that I show you throughout the video. There are many ways to make an installation, but for this example, we'll keep things as simple as possible. Some packages come with a UI interface and commands. It depends on the complexity of the tool. To cover the complex scenario, we're going to focus on the Z-Rail. First off, keep the folder containing your package open. We'll be using it later. Launch Maya and then open Script Editor window. Switch to a Python tab, then type the following command. After executing these lines, the output console will print several paths. You can pick any of these, but I will take this one which is recommended. If you have installed Maya with a default path location, it may have been the same pattern. It normally stands for the root document folder, slash Maya, slash your version, slash plugins. Open that folder. You may have already had these files with the MLL extension if you've already installed other plugins before. If for some reason the destination folder doesn't exist, just create it. From the package, go into the plugin folder. From here, you'll find all the versions available. In this example, we'll use Maya 2020, so we copy the corresponding binary file. If you have another version, get yours. We've just finished the first part. If you have no more files included in your package, then you're done. Now we need to install the Python files, which are commonly responsible for the UI interface and other runtime commands. For doing so, we have to know where they are supposed to be located. As we said earlier, we'll keep this tutorial simple. We should have talked about the user step, but we'll rather use the current environment setup. In the script editor, type the following command and execute it. The idea is the same. You can choose any of these paths. For the sake of convenience, I'll show you this one. Go back to your package folder and copy everything but the plugin folder. It's important to consider the folder hierarchy, otherwise you would probably have an error message. Restart Maya again and type the specified commands that you'll find on the website. Each page gives extra details about how to launch the corresponding tool. If one of the packages has a mail script file, you can find the path location by typing the following command. Now, everything should run as expected. If there is an interface, it will load the plugin automatically. Otherwise, just open the plugin manager and make sure the plugin is loaded. Check auto load so you won't have to redo this process next time you restart a Maya session. Once installed, it's not necessary to type all these commands again. You have several options and you can create a shelf button or a shortcut. and drag and drop the commands into this one. It'll create a button that you can reuse later. And for the shortcut, simple copy and paste the commands in the hotkey editor and set your key. More details can be found on the website. Thank you and subscribe for upcoming tools and updates.